All right, so let's uh, just run through this calculation. And we have um, 0 0.1001 times 52 times 1,000. And I'm dividing by 1,000, so I really don't absolutely have to do that part. And I'm dividing again by the 25 milliliters. Okay, So this is my molarity of vinegar. And I'll go ahead and say this is the diluted vinegar solution. Okay. Now, obviously, I don't have that many significant figures. Um, I have four, four, four. These are exact, so I'm going to keep that at four significant figures, 0.2115. Okay. So over here, and chem 21, 0.2115, if I can write that in, 0.2115, and there we go. Okay, so that's how you calculate the molarity. All right, so for the second trial, um, the only thing that's different is this volume, 55.68, and uh, if I put that in here, all right, um, this part is going to be the same because it's the same solution that I'm using, and the rest are just my conversion factors, and I'm using the same uh, same volume. Um, even if you use the 15, since we scaled up this uh, this number from our lower number, you're going to go ahead and put 25 there because that's uh, that's going to be what it's expecting. All right. So in this case, I'll have 0.2229 um, molar for the diluted uh, solution. And if I put that in here, then it tells me I'm correct. All right. So now it wants the molarity of the pure vinegar. And it even tells you, recall that you performed a 1 to 4. That was when you took the... Um, 25 milliliters and you diluted it up to a hundred in the volumetric flask. Okay, so that means the pure vinegar is four times concentrated, four times more concentrated than the dilute vinegar. Okay, so if the dilute vinegar has a molarity of 0.2115, then I just multiply that by four and um, Uh, I'm going to go ahead and introduce a little rounding error here. Put that in um, and uh, divide this whoop, by, or rather multiply by 4. Because it's going to be 4 times con more concentrated. So 0 0.846 um, and I should probably have 4 significant figures but it's only um, requiring it at three, so that, that should be okay. All right. So not much to that one. You're just going through and um, taking that and accounting for that four times, uh, you know, same as taking the 100. See, this is our dilution equation, okay? We have... M1 uh, V1 equals M2 V2, all right? And what are these values, okay? M1, uh, let me just put them in here like this, and M2 and V2. M1 is my initial molarity, um, which... Uh, I'm going to say, let's let this side be the, uh, the concentrated or the, the normal vinegar, and then here's my diluted vinegar that I titrated, okay? So M2 is my uh, diluted vinegar, which has this concentration, okay? My volume 2 is what I diluted it to, that's going to be 100, and my initial volume is how much I took of the 
concentrated uh, solution, which is the pure vinegar, and uh, then this is what I don't know. Okay, so I want to solve this for M1, which will be M2 V2 divided by V1. Okay, so M2 times V2 divided by V1 times 100 divided by 25, that's going to give me times 4, so that's where that comes from, 0.8918, okay? So I put that here in Chem 21, 0.8918, and very good, okay? Um, the average, of course, is just going to be the average of these two trials. And you'll notice it only gives you two trials, whereas we did three, so take your best two. That's all I can say for that one. Um, and uh, so if we just average those out, we'll have, um, I can do this like this, average this one and that one. And I get 0.8689. Okay, put that here, 0.8689, and there we go. All right, so not much to a lot of these ones. Now here.